Turkey's naval defense capabilities have taken a significant leap forward with the successful test launch of the encapsulated Atmica anti-ship missile from a submarine, marking a key moment in the country's military advancements. The test, conducted from the TCG Pervi submarine off the coast of Mersin in the Mediterranean Sea, underscores Turkey's growing self-reliance in defense technology and its ability to equip its submarines with domestically produced weapons. The Atmica missile, developed by Turkish defense company Roketsan, is poised to replace the aging Boeing RGM-84 Harpoon missiles currently in service with the Turkish Navy. The missile is launched from a 533mm torpedo tube inside a watertight capsule equipped with a propeller, which is then expelled from the submarine. Once free, the capsule releases the missile, which activates its propulsion system to travel toward the designated target. During the test, footage shared by the Turkish Ministry of Defense indicated that the missile was not armed with a live warhead with no impact observed. This test primarily aimed to confirm the missile's compatibility with the torpedo tubes on Turkish submarines, particularly those of the Pervis and Gur classes. The launch is a precursor to the modernization of these submarines, which will be upgraded with the MREN combat management system developed by Havelson. This upgrade will enable the integration of a range of domestic weapons, including the AKYA heavyweight torpedo and the encapsulated Atmica missile. The Atmica missile is a sophisticated anti-ship cruise missile designed for high-precision strikes. It utilizes a GPS-based navigation system, an inertial navigation system, a barometric altimeter, and a radar altimeter to navigate toward its target. The missile's active radar seeker ensures accurate target acquisition, while the integrated data link enables real-time adjustments, such as re-engagement or mission cancellation. Its sea-skimming approach significantly reduces the chances of detection and interception making it an effective tool in modern naval combat. With a range of over 220 kilometers, the Atmica missile enhances Turkey's naval capabilities by enabling submarines to strike distant surface targets while remaining undetected. This missile is already deployed on Ada-class corvettes and modernized Barbaros-class frigates. The successful underwater launch further bolsters its versatility, as it provides Turkish submarines with the ability to engage surface targets from long distances, adding a new layer of operational flexibility. The Atmica missile has attracted significant international attention, particularly in Southeast Asia. In 2022, Indonesia signed a contract to procure 45 Atmica missiles, while Malaysia is in the process of integrating the missile system into its literal mission ships, based on the design of the Ada-class corvettes. This achievement places Turkey in an exclusive group of nations capable of launching anti-ship missiles from submarines, alongside global powers such as the United States, France, and Russia. The ability to strike at long ranges without revealing a submarine's position is a strategic advantage in modern naval warfare, significantly extending a submarine's operational reach. In addition to the Atmica, Turkey is developing other advanced missile systems, such as the Gezgin cruise missile for long-range land strikes from submarines, further strengthening its naval deterrence strategy. There are also discussions around the potential development of a submarine-launched air defense missile, possibly based on the Hisar system by Aselsan. The successful test of the encapsulated Atmica missile represents a key milestone in Turkey's goal of achieving strategic autonomy in defense technologies. By focusing on indigenous missile systems, Turkey continues to solidify its position as a leading force in the development and deployment of advanced naval weaponry.